Now, I mentioned that a bilingual brain, that being able to speak two languages is really quite good for the brain. Um, and that's because when people learn another language and when they are able to use it in a fluent way and, and an easy way, they develop cognitive advantages that that people who are monolingual don't have. And one of those is they improve their ability to multitask because they're constantly going from one language to another. Um, it improves their attention. They, uh, they can often pay better attention um, for longer periods of time. And it builds up something we call cognitive control, which all of you would probably think of as self-control, that ability to be focused and to learn on demand. And individuals we've shown, research has shown, who have two languages actually have that capacity to learn on demand and, and build up self-control in a way that's augmented by that second language learning. One of the people who's really researched this quite a bit is Judith Kroll. She is an expert on bilingualism and is the director of the Center of Language Science at Penn State. And one of the things she says is, is that bilinguals, unlike me, for example, who's a monolingual, can keep languages separate while keeping them both available and active in their mind at the same time. And that gets into this multitasking capacity that these students have. Um, and we also know, I said earlier, that that children, that children who have a second language um, are really also telling the brain, if you will, that language is very, very important. The brain devotes a lot more of, the, of its architecture, of its geography to language. And school is all about teachers talking and students listening, especially in the elementary grades, but even when you get into secondary. So these, the, the capacity to be a good learner depends on this, this capacity to have a well-built language structure in the brain, and bilingualism really helps that. 